So hi guys, it's Dr. Parth Palan here, and welcome to the Last Minute Pearls. And today's subject is pharmacology. So let's begin, guys. So in pharmacology, the first slide which I have put is the alpha one agonist, alpha two agonist, beta one, beta two, beta three agonist with all the examples. And obviously, all the this is a cutout from Kirk, which you need to remember because it's very simple, and you cannot miss these. Okay. I have taken a screenshot. Next, and this are the antifungals. I never really found a good chart, you know. Like uh, this is basically from KDD that I have concise whatever was given in that chart. I never really found in Gurg also. It is not very clearly mentioned that these uh, antifungals are used for exactly which type of fungus. And we often get confused in the you know the the drugs which are to be given the types of fungi. So this is a complete you know. Concise version of all the drugs used for which are and you know points like this as well like bosaconazole is the only as well for mucormycosis points like these. Next, this is dextran seventy, dextran forty, polygenin and held heta starch. This is also from Gurg, which you need to remember. Mainly they won't ask you the first two lines. This mostly they won't ask you. Mostly they'll ask you these like. Which doesn't interfere and which interferes with BGCM. But this we need to remember, and, and it's very practical as well. Next, and this the favorite question, the favorite one-liner: scheduled drugs. Which schedule consists of what? This is also covered in FM, but uh, I like to read it with Pharmac. Next, and this the, the anticoagulants, the parenteral, the oral. And these are the factors which they they inhibit respectively. Na, 2a, heparin. Like this is also the other factors which it inhibits. 2, 7, 9, 10. So warfarin, 10a, LNWH, heparin, fondaparinus, uh, rivaroxaban. Okay. Next. And this for Wilson's disease. This is also from Kirk. Need to remember this. It's very important. Next. This are the side effects of streptomycin. There are all the different types of streptomycin. Like uh, you have nephrotoxicity, so they'll ask you nephrotoxicity is maximum with which drug. So okay, this basically yeah, streptomycin. These are the types of aminoglycosides. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This. Okay. Next. So next, I also want you to read the classes of cephalosporins. They haven't asked that uh, this question in recent times, but then you never know. They can just ask you which, you know, class of cephalosporins, you know, it belongs. Which which generation basically, not class, which generation. And we know that fifth generation has also come, so they might ask you that. Then I also want you to read is all the anti-helminthic drugs, helminthic drugs, with their, uh, you know, mechanism of action, mechanism of action. These are there are only six uh, drugs mainly. It's given in GURG, so you can refer to that table. It's a very small table. You but you have to remember that. Then next, I want you to read us concentration dependent drugs and time dependent drugs examples. Okay. Next, a very difficult thing which I'm going to ask you to read is the anti-cancer medications, the anti-cancer drugs. Uh, don't worry. What you what you can do is read this chapter from uh, KDT. I know it's very long, but what you can do is in the first. I hope you have done the first reading of the chapter. So I hope you have underlined. So once you underline, you really with, because with each and every drug only one line is supposed to be remembered, like the side effect, like a specific side effect, because they won't go into so much detail at your level. So you just need to remember like each and the characteristic, the one line and point of that drug. So that is what you need to do. And last but the most important. Is the kinetics formula from General Pharma? This I feel is the most important and the most scoring because you know half the people will think that the maths are gone. Abhi now it's become very difficult. How will I calculate? And the formula are so so simple. You just need to remember those you know five six formula. You what you do is you write those formula in a separate piece of paper and this is what you refer. But you don't forget this. It's very important, very scoring the kinetics formula. Okay guys so this was it from pharmacology all the very best guys kill it <laughs>